Hello everyone, this is Goofy Gamer, aka Mr. Money. I'm going to uh, say good luck to this person. And he's going to decide who plays first. I'm going to decide to win. This is great. We're just going to keep this. Uh oh. He got a fast start. Hopefully he doesn't have like an ordeal. Um, so we're gonna have to choose to either asphyxiate or Satessan Oathsworn um, on turn three. If this is an ordeal, oh. This is, oh, he put his Pelucranos down there and his ordeal, that sucks so bad. Oh, he's probably taking that card out. Good draw, though, on the Pelucranos. Good, good stuff. So he's beating me to death. Uh, now he's probably got some burn. I mean, he needs anything really. But if I get the Oath Sworn out now, then hopefully that'll trick him into attacking. And then, uh, you know, he'll leave his Sedge Scorpion back. I can asphyxiate it. Oh. So he's got like an ill-tempered Cyclops here. Ooh, Polis Crusher. I do not like that. Okay. So he's still beating me down two at a time. Ooh, we're dealing. So I'll try to keep Sig Gorgon for a um, Sedge Scorpion. Especially if it's a Sedge Scorpion plus Ordeal. And he won't just be able to burn it away unless he has like Faded Conflagration which I didn't see. I saw infatuation, not conflagration. Uh, rise to the challenge? I mean, I'm gonna have to block it. Or do I? I mean, if he has Rise to the Challenge, then I die. If he has Fall to the Hammer, I die anyway.
I can take three. So that way he has to use Rise to the Challenge, or Ball the Hammer. Ball the Hammer is the one I'm thinking of. So... We will put the Blood Toll Harpy on top. Uh, Grizzly Transformation doesn't really work with Seder Wayfinder. I'm going to try and kill it next turn. So yeah, if he has Fall of the Hammer, he's going to use it here. Okay, well then um, I can do Grizzly Transformation and Blood Toll Harpy. here. So I guess yeah try and draw into a um, asphyxiate that'd be good. So he's got 8 and 9. That means he could do Anger of the Gods plus Monstrosity. But I don't feel like I need to play around Anger of the Gods. I'm 
Okay. Well, he got scared. But he has a Pelucranos, a Polis Crusher, some other stuff. <laughs> um, didn't really see any flyers whatsoever. Um, I can see Return Phalanx playing a role. Uh, maybe more so than Grizzly Transformation. So that is the change that we will make. And we will go right back to it. Hmm. Good, um, good game, sir. Uh, we really only need three mana to make this deck work very well. Um, so I will take Mulligan and hopefully... Oh, wait, hold on. I kept it. Well, at least we got a turn three. And he's got no turn one set scorpion, which is good by me. So we lead out Swamp in case we draw an Asphyxiate that will deal with something he has. And Agent. Right on time. You do more damage than anyone I know. In my hand. If I don't offer to trade now, then he's going to get huge. Like big. But I feel like I can race him. Show me your two worst cards, sir. He's got double green, double red anyway. So I will help him with one of his mountains. <laughs> Excuse me. Six six Ori destroys a land. No, we will not pay tribute. Huh? 
I'm going to play the Oathsworn here. So he either has to use his mana, hold back a creature, or play another green creature, because I'm going to put that Cavern Lamp Pad on him. And then we're going to see who's laughing today. See a crowing horse. What kind of cards does he get? Uh, white. White card. Um. I mean, let's see if he goes for the block. So I'm going to have a 5-5. Five five. And even with Titan Strength, um, that won't save him. So I will be able to prevent the bulk of the damage. Um, Unless he can somehow, like, he can put, like, a uh, fearsome temper and then have it not. Be blocked by my, by the Akroan horse. Hmm. So I could asphyxiate, um, like the ill-tempered Cyclops, so there's no trampling involved. I could put the Grey Merchant into play. I kind of want him to spend the mana. To monstrous the ill-tempered Cyclops. Yeah, that's not a good attack for me. So I need another land. Yeah, he can still have a Pelucranos. Or a First Striker. Hmm. So I put the 5-5 five five out there 
to like eat one of his creatures or something. <sighs> ah, why am I so screwed on mana? Um, or I could do Leaf Crown Dryad, but then he just chump blocks it. Could put the Keepsake Gorgon. I mean, I could put the Leaf Crown Dryad on the Gray Merchant, um, but that wouldn't really do it. Unless I draw a land this next turn. I'm going to do this based on... I'm just going to draw land next turn. That's just how it's going to happen. And then I bestow Cavern Lamp Pad, and uh, then that's the game. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Well. He didn't play anything. So I could just asphyxiate this now. put this one up there because I guarantee you that's what he was planning to do was uh, monstrous oh come on land and him not getting any kind of life gain Okay, well, he's like the only one that's going to benefit from this, and I draw a card. Man, Grizzly Transformation would be great right now. Or a Mogi's Marauder. <sighs> Green doesn't really have that type of stuff. Um, even if he does an all-out attack, um, He's not he's not getting through my defenses. Alright, so we've stalled him out. Cast with bestow on the guy that can't be blocked. that has higher toughness than six now. He had six toughness. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys watching, sticking with me through this uh, stalled out match where the boards got insane. Um, but uh, that's what is the big and uh, we, we, uh, we're gonna just keep going like we're gonna go and stuff and I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll be seeing you again for uh, for the next match okay you guys have a good day bye 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 now